Hey, this is Jolene from the Face Painting Forum Shop, and I am here to show you a nice little design using the tag custom cake called Mystic Fairy Garden. You can get that here at the shop. I'm going to use my favorite sponge, an Always Wicked Art sponge, and I'm going to show you in this design how versatile it is. I'm going to use it over my eyelids for an eyeshadow effect. If you're wanting to do a boy design, you may want to leave this part off and also use a darker color palette with blues and silvers in it. I'm going to make sure there's not too much paint and then I'm going to use BAM 1206. And I'm going to add a little bit of texture to the background. I'm just going to put the BAM stencil against my head and then I'm just going to swipe the sponge right over and that gives a little bit of texture to the background and ties the whole design together. I'm going to use the another Always Wicked Art sponge and I'm going to do the, the aqua and the white. I'm going to load those alone and I'll show you how to make a circle with this. I'm going to start right there above my eyebrows and tap around in the circular motion. Okay, I could leave it this way, but I want it to make it a little bit wider, so I'm going to use a little bit of metallic white in the center. And a dauber. Okay, now I'm going to come back with a little bit of white, and I'm going to add a highlight to the top. This is Tag, and it's in the rectangle containers. This is what I use for my kit. I'm going to do some, some teardrops around the edges and then make my highlight over the top of the snowman's head. Now I'm going to come back, that was the number six, I'm going to come back and do a low light and I'm going to use um, its fab sapphire shimmer on the bottom. And that is a number five that I'm using for that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm also going to use a number five round. This is the face painting shop brush. I like it. It's got a nice pointy tip. Um, kind of a sideways teardrop for his nose. I'm going to come back. This is actually an older brush. It's a number six low Cornell. And I loaded it up with kind of watery black paint so I can make nice little dots with it. I want it to give my snowman a little crooked smile wiggling around to make his eyes. I can make them nice and big. Okay, I'm going to let that dry really well before I try to come back and add the highlights on top of the black. So I don't want it to mix together. I'm going to come back with a little princess shimmer right there from Fab. And I'm using my finger. Girls, don't be afraid to use your fingers. You can uh, totally do great blending with that. And give my snowman a little bit of a happy cheek. Okay. I'm going to come around. This is Krivlin's Creamy Line. It's the dark blue. And I don't try to go all the right way around my circle. I separate it into usually three different parts when I'm doing that. And then if I don't like the way it came out, then you can just put starburst or dot or something there to cover up the area. But it came out fine. I'm also going to come in with another stencil. Um, Bam makes a stencil, but I'm going to use, I've got a tap stencil here, and use a couple of snowflakes. The white paint that I used made sure it was nice and dry on that finger dauber. You can get those here at the shop also. And a twisting motion. And so I made a couple of snowflakes. I'm going to come back with that number six and make some dots to simulate some more snow. Just spacing it out and filling in the empty space. Different varying size dots. You know, I've got a lot of paint on this brush. You can see it's loaded all the way up to the ferrule. That's why I can make nice big round dots with it. Okay, 
and then I'm going to do some dots on the inside of my eye. Now after I do that, I'm going to come back with my favorite script liner. I love doing starburst with this. Do a couple of my cheeks. Just around the design, it kind of adds a little magical quality and brightens everything up. Oh, I gave myself a gray streak. I'm going to come back in and um, use a little bit of blush on my cheeks. And it's just a pink press powder that I have in one of my kits. Next, I'm going to come back and outline those teardrops, and that pulls that Krivlin dark blue with the name I cannot pronounce. Um, but you'll find it in the creamy line if you search that in the shop. Okay, so I have all that outlined. Now that um, those eyes are nice and dry, I'm going to come in and add the highlight, and then I'm going to add tiny little highlights on the mouth. Okay, and that little um, script liner I'm going to use to highlight the cheeks also. Give it a little starburst. And that is my design. And I'm going to show you how you can add a little bow to make it a little bit more girly. So I'm going to come back in with a second step. If you wanted to add this to make it a little bit more girly, you can add a bow. What I use for this is uh, a little bit of shimmer pink. And I'm going to lay that down with a petal brush and make a butterfly shape. And then I'm going to outline it with that blue from Krivlin. This is a little tiny number one. That blue is outlining. And then I'm going to add a little bit of a highlight on top of that. To brighten everything up. And that's my design. If you'll like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Have a great day.